Brazilian Cinema Nova was a film movement that lasted from the late 1950s to the early 1970s in Brazil. It is commonly referred to as Cinema Novo, which means new cinema in Portuguese, the official language of Brazil. This movement took influence from Italian neorealism and French New Wave. There was a lack of funds for this film movement, which caused there to be a lowered technical precision, but also allowed directors to have a large amount of creative freedom. One major Cinema Novo director was Carlos Diegues. He stated that Cinema Novo has no established style and that in Cinema Novo, expressive forms are necessarily personal and original without formal dogmas. This movement was heavily embedded with political and historical meaning. The films attempted to promote economic reform by emphasizing social and political problems. Cinema Novo is divided into three phases, the first lasting from 1960 to 1964, the second from 1964 until 1968, and the third from 1968 until the end of the movement, which was in 1972. The first phase of this movement dealt with issues affecting the working class, such as violence and starvation. To the right is a film entitled Black God, White Devil, which was written and directed by Glauber Roca and released in 1964. During the time period of the second phase, the Fifth Institutional Act was issued, which kicked off a period of extremely repressive military rule. Also, during the second phase, filmmakers began to realize that their films were only popular in the fact that they attempted to take the point of view of the people, but the films did not draw a large audience. Because of this, filmmakers began to adapt their films and move toward filmmaking and themes that captured the interest of the public at large. This resulted in the first Cinema Novo film to be shot in color and to portray a middle-class protagonist. The film was called Ngerota de Ipanama and was directed by Leon Herzman. The third phase of Cinema Novo dealt with social and political themes. It has often been called the tropicalist phase. This phase also dealt with cannibalism. These are two major directors from the movement. On the left, there is Glauber Roca, who I mentioned earlier. And on the right is Carlos Diegues, who I also mentioned earlier. Um, Roca was possibly the most influential director of the movement and they were both key figures in this movement. Por que você se sente assim? Se eu te toco, eu sinto, mas não como eu queria. This is a clip from the film O Desafio, um, directed by Paulo Cesar Saraceni. Um, this film was released in 1965. Me prenderam, me deixaram muitos dias numa cela imunda, com ratos mortos. Me deram choques elétricos. Me semiciaram e me libertaram com as marcas. E mesmo assim eu levei meu segundo, terceiro e sempre cartazes e panfletos. E nunca por orgulho. Era uma coisa maior. Em nome da lógica dos meus sentimentos. E se for as ambições normais de uma mulher normal, de que outra ambição posso falar que não seja de felicidade entre pessoas solidárias e felizes? A fome do absoluto. A fome. Eu tenho esta fome. Vem comigo. This clip is from a film entitled Terra M. Transe. 
um, directed by Glauber Roca, um, released in 1967. The title of this, Terra M. Transe, translates to Land in Anguish. Muita saúva e pouca saúde, os bares do Brasil são. Subversivo! Subversivo! The clip below is from a 1969 film entitled Macunamia. And this film was directed by Joaquim Pedro de Andrade. <laughs> 